Justin Fields is one of the most polarizing names in all of sports, for good reason. Chicago Bears had the opportunity at the number one pick this past year, traded it away. They committed to Justin Fields. They said, you know what? You're the guy. You're the man. We believe in you. You're enough. But then this season, Justin Fields once again struggling. Caleb Williams, Drake May, Marvin Harrison, just a couple of the superstar names into next year's draft. The Bears will likely hold the number one overall pick, courtesy of the Carolina Panthers. Uh. So with all that context, I ask you this question. <clears throat> Has Justin Fields showed enough? to keep his job. Clear <laughs> your throat, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. It's time to move on from Justin Fields. They it's won big time to move on from Justin Fields. Now, last year when they in the draft, or this year in the draft, they made a move, and I was surprised. Like, oh, they're keeping this guy? Okay, cool. Let's see. They must know something I don't know. Mm. But no, it's the same thing. I've been knowing it. I've been right. When you watch him play, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't connect. Like, with young players, you see them get better and better and better, right? They, they might do this, but yeah. you see some growth. I haven't seen any growth. I see the same things. Them two fumbles last night, yep. normally they lose that game. Now, it happens that they're playing against the, the Minnesota Stiles Vikings. And the Vikings. Yep. Yeah, Josh, he's kind of, he's still trying to find his way there. He's no new doubt. for him. But overall, we see him lose games like that. Yeah, he found a way to win that one. I don't know if he found a way to win that yeah, one. he found a way. Anyway, so, his hands a, in the game. as I think about this, yep. to know that the Bears can have a chance to get a generational talent like Caleb Williams, who in their right mind don't want Caleb Williams the quarterback, mm -hmm. huh? You go to Chicago, it's a big city, right? You can market a guy a certain way. You can make a lot of money off the field, right? For, and get, get them, them fans in there. Yeah. Sell a lot of merchandise. And then you got a chance to win. They go out there and get DJ Moore. DJ Moore is a really, 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 really good wide receiver. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. Everybody I keep, I keep reading and seeing on television, on, on, on social media, they say, you know what? Justin Fields needs more help. After a while, I was like, how much help do you, do you need? Because... If you look at it, every time they talked about him in the last couple of years, he needs more help. What do they do? They get him some tackles, offensive yeah. linemen. They get him a number one receiver in, in DJ Moore. And now what? It's the same results. So, Bears, if you want to keep going backwards, let's continue to have Justin Fields as your quarterback. If you want to win, you have a chance to go to the playoffs like the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> go out there and get Caleb Williams, generational talent. Um, Y'all all know how I feel. I don't. We don't. Remind I actually don't. How you we don't. Feel. How I'm about do you feel I'm about to tell you. Today. I'm about to tell you. How I feel today, Justin Fields is your quarterback. Oh. You have two first round picks. Go build this team. Right? And the reason why I say that is because hmm. before Justin Fields got hurt, two back to back 300 yard games. Right? We wanted to see that. We wanted to see passer. We wanted to see them open up the playbook. We wanted to see this young fella throw the ball. They did that. Back to back 300 plus yard football games. Right? Then he hurt his hand. You come back, he plays really well against the Detroit Lions, threw for over 150, rushed for over 100, played really well. Aww. Right? Last night, yes, it's two turnovers, but Shady said it. You usually lose those type games, right? We talked up here yesterday and said, can Justin Herbert just put us in field goal position so we can see the kicker mess it up? As bad as the game was, Justin Fields got that ball at the end of the game, and I don't care if he made one throw, two throws, whatever, he put his team in position to win the game. I would love to see this young fella still grow. I think this dude is extremely talented at the quarterback spot. I think they could build around him. You have two high first-round picks. Go get my man Marvin Harrison Jr. Go get another offensive lineman and build around Justin Fields. That's how I feel. I feel like the young fella has a lot of talent to be able to take this team to the playoffs. I'm repulsed by that take. Bro. I, don't, I don't know why. I'm like, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I have a visceral reaction. So he hasn't shown you any growth these last he, couple games. He, he has. And okay, again, so. And again, I, I like Justin Fields as a person. I like Justin Fields' talent, but sooner or later, there has to be a level of accountability. In my mind, the most important quarter of football is the fourth quarter. Right. Can we take a look at how Justin Fields performs in fourth quarters of games? Look at what occurs with his passer rating in the fourth quarter. It drops down to a 65 from a 102 in the third quarter, from an 85 in the second, and from an 85 in the first. So it is substantially and significantly worse when the going gets tough. But not only that, let's pay most attention to giveaways. The most important thing in the game of football is exactly that, the football in the fourth quarter. 17 giveaways compared to three in the third, 10 in the second, and eight in the first. The fourth quarter is not longer, America, than the second, third, or first. I know what you're thinking. The fourth quarter must be significantly longer. It is not. 
Justin Fields, for whatever reason, just gets significantly worse as it pertains to his play. You saw Justin Fields during the game yesterday. Not only fumbled once, he fumbled twice, and he's patting himself on his chest saying, that is my bad. Mm -hmm. I believe even Justin Fields would suggest he needs to play better. Yes. Do I think he can play well at another organization? No doubt about it. I think he has the talent. Ooh. But as it pertains to Justin Fields showing enough to stay in Chicago, no, they got to part ways for my money. Wait, wait, wait. You think he'll get another shot as a starter? Yes. <laughs> this is a wrap. If it ain't with the Bears, oh my God. You think they want to see another franchise? Man, I think it's a lot of quarter, or a lot of teams that would want to have Justin Fields. You know what, Joy Taylor? Taylor? I mean, yeah, this, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Go ahead, Joy. We're gonna let Joy do, let you do your thing. Hold on, hold on. He is seven and twenty-six as a starter. Know that? No. That's so bad, James. That's so bad. That's what... Listen, I like Justin Fields too. Mm -hmm. I wanted Justin Fields to be good too, yeah, but he's yeah. seven and twenty-six. Not good. I even didn't. I didn't even mind them moving off of the pick to try and bolster the roster more and stick with him. Mm -hmm. But three years, three years is a generous sample size for anyone in the league, for a coach, for a GM, for an owner, for a quarterback. Like three years is that is significant. That is a that is a chunk of time. It's fair. And I don't even like that word, but we have reached the point where it is appropriate to use oh, it. Time? It is a fair assessment that he is not capable of leading a team. A we, team or this team? A team. Oh, I mean, I'm not saying his career is over. You can have a wonderful career as a backup. You could get an opportunity somewhere else. And maybe he will get an opportunity with a team that yeah. has a loaded roster top to bottom and will have success there. But it, it is, it's... <laughs> That's I mean, that was, uh, we're never getting that time back last night, okay? We're never getting that back. That time watching that game last night, yeah. we're never getting that back. That, that time happened. is so won, valuable, though. okay? Time is the most valuable thing on earth, and it was stolen from it us, was okay? It was taken. It was taken. It was taken, that, that and was I take wild. that personally. That was what we had to watch that. When you waste my time, I take it personally. We had bad, to watch James. that. It was bad that football. Was bad. I think if this was any other quarterback that played like that and found a way to win, we wouldn't any, be talking about what? Any Everybody other is. quarterback. No, yeah. no, we would not. They didn't score a touchdown last night. And it's a bunch of sorry quarterbacks that find ways to win because they own good okay, teams. Okay, but he doesn't it's find ways to win. Him. He doesn't find ways to win. He's won seven. James is being paid right now. He, does, he doesn't find ways to win. No, 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 no James. Y'all giving up on oh, the we get, too Oh, we early. getting pumped. Oh, 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 where the camera's at? Are we getting pumped right now, James? Where the camera's at? No, no, no. Ashton is not talking talent that this young kid has? He is talented, but talent also eventually has to translate into results. And it hasn't. And despite the fact... Despite the fact that this roster isn't exactly where anyone would want it to be, it has to, at the very least, visually look like something. Yes, he can run. That's great. But he really struggles to throw the ball. He is bad in big-time moments, as Emadel just outlined, with statistics, which facts things that actually happen. I want him to be better. I want that for him. Mm -hmm. But it's not. The results are here. And when you're, when you're in a position, mm -hmm. when you're in a position like the Chicago Bears are, to improve at the most important position, yeah. after you've given someone three years to show unequivocally that you are, at this point, there should be no questions. We shouldn't even be doing this block. Yeah. There should be no questions whatsoever about how good he you is. You waste you know, your time. You know, yeah. really no, 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 really you quick. Because yesterday we talked about Justin Herbert, and we said all you give us is good hair. But we know he's super talented, right? <sighs> we watched this man, Caleb Williams, against the big-time teams this year. What'd he do, Acho? He, did, he took L's. He took way too he many L's. He took L's and he threw picks. He took way too many Hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he took L's good. and he threw that picks. That did happen. So Notre right Dame now you're telling me if this Bears team right now, you put Caleb Williams on there, they took the playoffs? And this man against Notre Dame and against Washington and all that oh. is, is turning the football yeah. over. Here, but let me ask you this, James. I don't even know. Did he just do that? Here's my thing, though. That's I, what's on the tape. I don't, I don't even know if Caleb Williams, who I believe is maybe the most talented college quarterback oh. I've ever seen. I don't know if he would transform this roster. But give me hope. All you need in life is hope. And two and first rounders is going to give you some hope. No, because James, you know what I was thinking as you were talking? I asked myself, and I don't know why I do these random things, but I asked myself, hey, Acho, why does the Leaning Tower of Pisa lean? Why? That's how the they built it. Cause the, no, because the foundation <laughs> is wrong. And what is the foundation of every team? The quarterback. So you can get Marvin Harrison Jr. if you want. You can get another linebacker if you want. You can get another O-lineman if you want. But if the foundation, the quarterback, is on sh solid or shaky ground, mm -hmm. the whole team is on okay, shaky so real, ground. So, 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 so that's so, my issue. So, so real quick, because we always want to go to wins, right? So let's go to some quarterbacks that are winning. Jimmy Garoppolo, a franchise quarterback. He's not winning right now. Kenny Pickett, a franchise quarterback. He was with the Niners. He was winning. Kenny Pickett with the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. They winning because of him? No. 
Thank you. So, so you could go to so many different quarterbacks that won games that are not as talented or even as good but, as Justin Fields here, is. Are I, you ready to give up on but it? But it all comes down to me, the law of averages. The law of averages will always tell you the truth. Kenny Pickett, on average, is not a substantial winner. Justin Fields, if you look at his three-year sample size, you can see he does not win. I like Justin Fields. Shady, I do. Joy, I do. I don't but know. But he doesn't know, brother. win. But, but also, I, and I'm not trying to make a case here for Kenny Pickett, but like, they do win. Correct. Like, they had Not a winning record him, last though. year, but they, but but they had a winning record last year with him at the quarterback position. So you guys are telling and they me are take Kenny Pickett over Justin Fields? Field? Nope. That's is what that... I said. I don't want to make this a Kenny Pickett conversation. Ooh, boy. But boy, Justin boy. Fields Ooh. might. Justin Fields may be more talented than him, but the Chicago Bears are seven and twenty-six huh. under Justin Fields. But that ain't all on Justin Fields. When though. is it on him, though? When is it no, on him? Some of, it's on, some of it's on him to play better. We've seen him turn the ball over. I'm saying it is not time to give up on the young fella. You have two first-round picks. <clears throat> you have a solid quarterback, a talented quarterback. Find a way to get the best out of this young fella and put more pieces around him. Hey, Period. Hey, Talk to me, bro. Shady. I'm listening. I I gotta make sure you say this correctly. Yes. I, I don't know about it because everybody's talking and you oh, kind of was loud. Well, you got loud, right? And you was doing your thing. Yeah, I'm passionate did, about Justin Fields. Did you say something about Caleb Williams? You, how'd you break that down? Caleb I said Williams. Caleb Williams against the best teams in college football, the so called good teams, mm -hmm. the Notre Dames, yeah. the Washingtons. All, he lost and he threw picks. So, so saying all that, you were you say you would rather keep Justin and, and don't have a chance to get Caleb. I'm saying I would want to keep Justin from what I've seen in those games because with this roster, I don't think Caleb Williams is gonna win. He's a rookie though. But 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 I'm saying no, I'm saying a rookie, you don't think there's a I, I understand. But I'm that. saying I think if you gave Caleb Williams the same sermon size you gave Justin Fields, he wouldn't be I will guarantee 20. you this. He would not you be would see some growth, you would see some talent, you would see some wins. You will see uh, some stats. Here's, here's what it is time to do, though. Look, you at are, well, you're, look at the USC team he has. But he can't here, beat the good team. Hold on. We have a college okay, conversation well, I mean, coming up later. Yeah, yeah. Here, and, and honestly, wow. USC, as I told everyone, the, it, it's, it, the defense is out of control. This might kill They're not, so they're not, so they're the not ready to compete. Playing like hold on, hold on. I don't want to get sidetracked. This is a decision that must be made. A fifth-year option. Because Justin Fields is a first-round pick. Well, y'all know where I'm going with And his third year's over. And about to be over. And you got to make a decision on the fifth-year option. I'm not ready to give up on him. I'm, I'm not ready, and I don't think the Bears should give up on it. But okay, here's my here's here, let me let me break this down because I don't want to argue with you. I want to seek to understand. Don't talk I think you're to an incredibly me. intelligent person. You're not, you're not gonna change my answer, but I'm listening. Not trying to. At yeah. least let me gain some insight. Yeah. This is a very good quarterback class. Yes. Even if it's not Caleb. No doubt. Say it's not. No doubt. There is still Caleb Williams. Mm -hmm. There is Drake May. Yes. There is Michael Penix, quarterback yes. at Washington. Mm -hmm. There is Quinn Ewers. There is Jaden Daniels. Yeah. This is a really good quarterback no class. Question. No would question. you once again, after passing on Bryce Young and CJ Stroud, which mm -hmm. CJ Stroud has now proven to be a really good player, mm -hmm. would you once again pass up on a great quarterback class to retain Justin Fields, not knowing what the quarterback class of the future could be, because you could be stuck mm -hmm. with the quarterback class of Mac Wilson, Mac Jones. Jones, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Trey Lance. Yeah. Would you pass up on an incredible class, maybe the greatest quarterback class we've seen mm -hmm. in the last 20 years, yeah. would you pass up on that to keep Justin Fields a question mark? I would because I believe in Justin Fields. I believe Justin Fields can be a solid quarterback in this league and win football games with the right team around him. I do. I truly believe. I don't think that Kenny Pickett is better than Justin Fields. I think if Justin Fields is on the Pittsburgh Steelers, this Pittsburgh Steelers would be a really good football team. I think Justin Fields is a good quarterback. He's super talented. We all know, right? We wanted to see him throw the ball. He had back-to-back 300-yard -back games before he got hurt. Pause. You said something and I like what you're saying. But you said he's solid. You said they can win football games with the right team around him. Those yes. are a lot of contingencies. But that's when you, every quarterback. No, no, sir. When you draft a franchise number one overall quarterback, they don't need to be solid. You would hope, I would hope to hear you say they are great. They are elite. They are cream of the crop. They can elevate their team. The next block we are quite literally doing is, can Patrick <clears> Mahomes <throat> carry uh -huh. the Chiefs to the and, Super Bowl? And how many Patrick Mahomes is, is in the league? So that's all I'm saying. It's a bunch of Brock Purdy's. It's a bunch of these dudes in the league with good teams around them. And, and these teams are still so-called favorites to win the Super Bowl. So I'm saying if you build around this kid and give this kid more opportunities, I believe he's that type of quarterback. He's that type of talent. Maybe. Yes, I know he's 7 and 20, whatever it is. But I believe uh, this kid the right. is that talented the numbers right, with please. the right pieces around him. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.